Thank you. The breakwater in front of a popular swimming spot is a step closer to being taken down. The Board of Land and Natural Resources voted to approve taking down the rock wall in Cromwell's after years of reported injuries. But some say this could make the area more unsafe. Nikki Schenfeld reports. Despite the warning, dozens of people jump at this spot every day. The state says three people have been paralyzed here, either from diving or jumping in. And lawsuits were filed against the property owner, who has tried to deter people from jumping to begin with. Easy jump, a little shallow, I wouldn't dive, but uh, you know, kind of bend your legs, break the impact there, it was lovely, you nice didn't. and refreshing. Do you touch the ground? Never touch the ground. For now, the state has approved to dismantle the top of the current breakwater, making it into a noticeable and natural rocky shoreline in the area that people jump. You can see the property owner has tried to prevent people from jumping in the area from building a fence to adding signs. However, some people do believe that adding rocks below where people currently jump could be more of a liability. I think it'll keep like the majority of people away, but there's still a few I think it would be much more dangerous. They might even still continue to try jumping and uh, I think it would just make it more hazardous overall. You know, it's a difficult problem. I'm not sure what the solution is. Others say south swell and surges during high tide could create problems for swimmers without the break wall acting as a barrier. Ocean Safety says they've noticed a change since the fence was added. No, my experience uh, here since that went up, calls definitely declined. The state says it still needs regulatory approvals and funding, but if approved, would take six to nine months to complete, in which the area would be closed at that time. Nikki Schoenfeld, KJO2 News, working for Hawaii. Nikki, thank you.